to unit test and create React app, you run npm run test or npm test, either one. It'll set up and run jest and run all the unit tests for you. Run all the tests. It'll go through add test and show that two passed out of the suites and four total out of the unit test. So if you take a look at the unit test here, scroll down a bit. The first thing that you do when you're testing a enzyme component specifically, I'm not going to worry about does the basic component actually work? Did I not mess up React? What we're focused on is the on blur. So when you tab in a text field here and we tab away, do these validations work? Does it allow bad data or not? That's what we're concerned with. We want to make sure that those errors are there. Does the basic form validation work? Have we wired up React correctly? So this is a standard fair where you get a shallow rendered component. So if you're familiar with Angular, it's providing a fake DOM. React, they have Enzyme, provides a shallow function so you can render a component. And this component has two things. It has the class and all the methods ready to go. And it also has all the JSX down here, the actual view of the component, rendered in such a way that you can query it like you would in normal any DOM. Now, I'm not very good at jQuery, but if you think of find is very similar to jQuery, you can put all kinds of text in here to find things by attribute and style and tag name, etc. We're looking for the username text field specifically. And this is a material design text field. We've got it wired up with all kinds of things. Bind D to the values since it's a controlled component. Error text, if we have any errors, if it's undefined or blank, it won't show that little red text underneath. When it changes, we want to update the text for it. And then when we tab away, then we want to run the validation. So we're not going to run the validations while they type. I always hated when forms did that. This is going to run when you tab away and say, all right, look, is the username valid? If it is, great. Uh, go ahead and set the username value internally, just like you do when you type and change. But also clear out the username errors. Everything's good. It looks good. And it's not clean anymore because we've edited it. On the invalid, you do still set the username, but you actually update the errors to all the validations. Now, validations always come back as an array of the many things that could possibly go wrong. So we just join them together as the blank string. So it has a series of sentences underneath that text field. But what we're trying to do is say, does this work? Did we wire this correctly up to our text field down here correctly? Does this binding work? Is the function itself working as well? And more importantly, if we type, is the validation working? Is it showing up on the UI? So this is testing a significant amount here. We're going to simulate a blur event, meaning tabbing out of the text field. Now that event that happens inside of the on blur, this on username blur, it's getting into a normal DOM event that sometimes React will decorate. We care about the value. What is the value in that text field that the user is leaving? Are they leaving it in a bad state? Is this username not good when they tabbed away? That's when we want to run the validation. We simulate that event. We give it a stub value. In this case, for the bad, we give it a blank. We want to trigger that validation. And for a good one, we want to pass in some good text and say, yo, if we pass in good text, the error should be undefined. Everything should be honky dory. So when we run those tests, you can see they work. So if we say, no, 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 it should be some error and we break it intentionally, you'll notice that we've caused that positive test to break because we expected some error, but it's undefined. That means it's actually working. Now we can make this work if we change this to the expected error. So if you give it a blank text, the validation for checking if the text field is full of blank strings will now fire and we can make the test pass. So that's the basics of stateful testing where you have a component you simulate a user event to it and you check the state outside of it and you test a bunch of things with that one line of code. Did that function run correctly? Did it set to the value you expected it to do? Did React, the way you're using it, wired up correctly? Did that all function? So this test is testing a very lot. It's very common and that's how a lot of people test React components to see if they work, especially in...